मित्रों मन बंधुओं वेलकम टू साउथ एशिया मैप्स दिस इज यूर प्रेजेंटर डॉक्टर जे रेडी एट साउथ एशिया मैप्स एजुकेशन चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय एजुकेशन चैनल यू कैन गो टू यूट्यूब चैनल साउथ एशिया मैप्स जे रेडी देर आर मोर देन थ्री meticulously made presentations and diverse interesting topics from human ecology indology population geography wars battles treaties provinces districts of south asia you can go and look them further the topic of today's discussion is our human predicament and human ecology series that is the part 106 we are discussing about the title of the topic is the carrying capacity just most of the time you see in our presentation you will see the ccp we abbreviate is carrying capacity carrying capacity i also abbreviate as mpsl easy to remember if you are from south asia is also very easy member of parliament from sri lanka mpsl if you remember that is the maximum permanently supportable load let us explain this in detail so that it will be very uh, easy to understand and carrying capacity concept is very very important all our social political economic events of modern times can be correlated to carrying capacity deficits the people who are not aware they talk about like oh, the job losses or job terminations and inflation all these things have roots in the carrying capacity deficits and after this you will get a very clear idea we have a nice mule here that is a type of donkey like let's say this donkey has one bag here this donkey is a two bags here three bags many bags here the donkey is carrying arbitrarily let's say this donkey can carry two bags that is permanently that means it can run like forever like every day 10 20 30 kilometers whatever it may be arbitrarily so carrying capacity means the load the two bags it can carry permanently forever without any discomfort that was the carrying capacity is maximum permanently supportable load suppose if you put the three bags that means you are putting the more load on the donkey the donkey feels uncomfortable it may walk for certain time certain distance but you will say that in ecological terms the donkey is suffering from carrying capacity deficits it's running carrying capacity deficits suppose if you put six or seven bags the dog the donkey may run for let's like, say one or two kilometers after that it collapses completely it cannot run any more that means you have run the donkey for one hour or so few kilometers you may be thinking your donkey has the ability to carry six bags it is not it was running on phantom carrying capacity why it is phantom because this it cannot carry forever permanently so in the carrying capacity the concept ability to support the load permanently is very very important that's very very critical in the concept of carrying capacity so what does it mean let's put it in a different perspective we have a carrying capacity here we have a carrying capacity deficits here we have a carrying capacity surplus here here the carrying capacity the carrying capacity there is a permanently supportable load we call it a real carrying capacity if you have only less load the donkey is running a carrying capacity surplus it is running on if you put more load it is running on carrying capacity deficits if you put these loads more and more 
and it can run but is running in a temporarily that is called phantom carrying capacity. Let's take away the donkey. Instead of donkey, you just make it it's a square, around about 10 or 20 square kilometers of the land, just like an average bigger village in city districts of Rilasima in Deccan, Andhra Pradesh, or it can be a whole district or even a country or a continent, even planet Earth. And the load is nothing but the humans. Of course, in a particular forest or a reserve, we can see how many number of the chimpanzees or how many number of deeds it can carry the forest. That's also one aspect. Here we are talking about from human viewpoint. The ecological load, human load. Suppose at a particular time in 1818, the before steam engine got almost invented and industrialization started, the planet Earth carried 1 billion people. If you continued like that for the 1 billion subsistence level of human beings, normal human beings uh, uh, essentially like not big consumers, especially basic needs, food, small house. So that means it was running a normal carrying capacity. If we have continued, that should have continued forever. After the discoveries of the oil, we have started industrial agriculture. Discovery of oil got more technology, more medical inventions, now people live for more time and they also enjoy a lot of other uh, resource consuming objects such as the cars, refrigerators, air coolers, conditions, washing machines. These are all extra load. These are all resources. Mostly resources are fossil fuels. That means we have put more load instead of 1 billion people 1880. 1880 there used to be 1 billion people. Easy to remember. 1880. 2022 we have 8 billion people. We are running but how a land which can support say one one and a half billion people now able to support eight billion people we say that is running on phantom carrying capacity because you have dug into the soil earth unearth the oil oil fossil fuel resources and you manufacture the urea fertilizers pesticides and the tractors combiners and you run all these tractors combiners with that essentially you started more industrial farming you able to produce more food because you have more food here there are more people if there is no industrial agriculture if there is no fertilizer basis pesticide basis you cannot produce this much food if there is no food means there will not be many people on the planet earth very simple logic that's why ecologically we say now we are running on phantom carrying capacity. The America is a very rich nation. Everybody drives like a, a car, uh, 100 kilometers speed. There are 330 million cars because they are, they have just essentially captured 20% of the oil basis of the planet and earth. Lot of resources they are giving to their people and running on phantom carrying capacities. So that is also very important. Eight billion people ecological load and human load we suffer today that's what the carrying capacity concept is that is the carrying capacity deficit a land running on carrying capacity surpluses before the European discovery of America, the world was running on carrying capacity surplus. Even though certain areas were saturated, still there was a lot of the land and it was not overloaded. Then more and more people we started adding, we started running carrying capacity deficits after drawing down of temporary resources, oil based resources, industrial agriculture, we produced, we just to pump more people on the planet earth which cannot support permanently that's the key word carrying capacity is mpsl maximum supportable human load he, supportable load means here supportable load means humans you can say maximum permanently supportable humans without industrial agriculture the world can, planet Earth can support, let's say, maximum permanently 1 billion people. 
and it cannot permanently support 8 billion people. That is a very, very important concept. We have to keep it in mind and uh, we should not overload further and think about how we should alleviate the problem. So that was the, now we have Homo Colossus, giant resource consuming humans on the planet Earth. Most of the people live in the United States, industrial, industrialized societies in China, India and many parts. They are consuming tremendous amount of resources, which even the emperors of three, four hundred years back didn't consume at all. There is not much difference between an average American citizen having a car let's say making a good uh, income and living in McMansion and American president. Only difference perhaps American president uh, I can use the helicopters and things like that more mobility any bigger house white house except that to essentially they're consuming almost similar resources they're all homo colossuses. That is the part 106 carrying capacity CCP is nothing but MPSL, if you remember, Member of Parliament, Sri Lanka. That is the maximum permanently supportable load or maximum permanently supportable humans, max, that is the ecological load. Carrying capacity is since equals to how many millions of the people, the planet Earth or a land, country, territory, district or a province such as California or United Province of Bihar or Bengal can support. So that is the very important aspect and the rest of the ecological series uh, uh, I have uploaded nearly 106 so far. You can look and uh, see them further and uh, that is about the how many people the planet Earth can support and Mitram and Bandhuvam and uh, Thank you for joining today in this presentation and uh, uh, if you take a few seconds and uh, access our site and post your comment that will be appreciated if you subscribe the channel and bring it to the notice of your friends and uh, other people this education channel and see you later in other presentations Dr. J. Reddy, South Asia Maps.